You know, it's often been said that when we engage another Christian body in dialogue, we have to take more than theology into account. We also need to be aware of the cultural differences that sometimes can complicate things considerably. Maybe the best example of this would be the differences that led to the schism between Catholics and Orthodox in the 11th century. Sure, there were a number of theological differences between the two sides, but cultural factors were also in play. One of these was the difference in language. Greek and Latin are very different, each with its own way of expressing the truths of our Christian faith. And sometimes, a word in one language doesn't have an exact equivalent in the other. So even if they shared the same faith, Latins and Greeks would often misunderstand each other when they talked about their beliefs. And to make matters worse, Fewer and fewer people in the East understood Latin at all, and fewer and fewer people in the West understood Greek. Eventually, Catholics and Orthodox developed different ways of living out their Christian faith. More and more, Catholics began to think about their faith through the lens of scholastic theology, while the Orthodox remained committed to the worldview of the Fathers of the Church. The West, influenced by the Renaissance and the Reformation, developed a very individualistic understanding of Christianity, while Christians in the East lived out their faith primarily as a communal experience. Increasingly, Eastern and Western Christianity appeared to be alien to each other. But examples of these cultural differences are found in the West as well. Here in the United States, for example, we have a long-standing dialogue with the Episcopal Church. Most recently, we have been discussing our different understandings of certain aspects of human sexuality and how our churches teach on these matters. We have found that much of this can be explained by our very different church structures. Of course, the Catholic Church has a very clear understanding of its teaching authority centered in the role of the local bishop in the Vatican, but the Episcopal Church has a highly democratic and independent structure here in the United States, modeled on the democratic process spelled out in the American Constitution, and strongly influenced by today's American culture. No wonder we end up thinking differently about these difficult questions. So cultural differences are big factors that have to be taken into account in our dialogues with other Christians. They help explain why we became divided, and understanding them more clearly can help us to overcome our differences. <music>